Hey, Danny K coming to you from Danny K Gym and Wellness, and this is Justice. I know a lot of times y'all hear her barking, but now you get to see her face. How cute is she, right? Say hi, Joss. You say hi. So, today's tip of the day is about working, um, understanding your body, one, looking at where um, your, you know, your weak uh, area is, whether, uh, whether it's a weaker area or whether it's an undeveloped area, um, you know, and uh, you know, trying to work that first. So it, it, for instance, you know, chest, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of times guys um, will go into the gym and because they want to lift heavy and they want to max out their, their max bench press all the time, or they're worried about building that up, you know, they forget about, you know, inclines and decline parts of, of their, um, of their chest. So what you do is if you, if you notice that, you know, your upper pecs are, you know, lacking, I would suggest starting, you know, instead of worrying about your max, instead of worrying about, you know, how heavy you can bench press flat, you know, worry about making things, you know, more even, more equal so that they look, you know, even, balanced. Um, and then after you're balanced and everything, and then you can go back to maxing out or, you know, me personally, I would say only max, you know, do max reps and so forth, like maybe once a month. That shouldn't be a training style. Max repping should not be a training style. Me personally, I say that. Putting it out there. So a tip within a tip. So, um, but anyway, so if your upper pecs are lacking, I suggest starting with incline presses first. So when you're doing your chest, it's chest day. Don't start with flat press and, and you know, wear yourself out. And then when you go to doing the incline, you know, you can't do as much or you know, so the theory is when you come in, you're a fresh body, fresh, you know, body part, um, you should be able to lift, you know, heavy. So I guarantee you, you, if you start off with your incline, you know, presses, whether it's bar or dumbbells, um, you're going to be able to, um, you know, lift heavier on your incline press if you do that first. So try that a few weeks you know, a few times when you're doing chest to get your upper pecs built up. Same thing with your, with the lower pecs, you know, guys, mostly, you know, we want the, you know, we, mm -hmm, I'm not a dude, sorry. Um, guys want the square, um, the square pec look. So that comes from doing decline presses. So if, if you feel like the lower part of your pec is lacking, um, women really don't have to worry about that. But you know, if you feel like the lower part of your pec is lacking, do decline presses first. So that is my tip for you, mainly for, for the guys, but really um, it kind of works for, for women, um, you know, women and men alike, you know, I mean, it, it's just wherever you feel like you have a more undeveloped, underdeveloped body part, train that body part first or train that angle first while you're fresh because if you wait till the end when you're tired you're not going to be lifting you're not going to be able to lift as heavy on that body part or that angle and therefore you know obviously it's going to continue to lack so you want to you know pick that up train and 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 be more balanced you know balance legs out balance arms out balance shoulders out you know balance back out um and the more balanced we are the less risk for or less chance that we have for an injury. So try that tip, you know, especially dudes, you know, um, you know, if you're, if you're lacking, if you feel like your upper part, your upper part of your pecs are lacking, the bottom parts of your pecs are lacking, try training those first while you're fresh, you're strong, and uh, you'll be able to lift more and, you know, that you'll see those, those um, improvements and then go back to doing, you know, max benching um, or, you know, just your heavy. Now, granted, if you do, if your incline um, pecs are, if your upper pecs are, lacking and you start with your incline, you may not be able to lift as heavy or get as many reps out for your flat flat press um, as normal. So do not get discouraged with that because you're training a different way. You know, you're hitting, you know, you're kind of frying out a little bit as you're going, as you're, as you're going through your workout. Um, so, you know, definitely, um, I suggest, you know, taking a look in the mirror and seeing, you know, what part is weaker, uh, what part is lacking, you know, and, and try and maybe train that body part first while you're fresh and stronger so that that part, that body part, or that angle, you know, gets up to par. 
So hope you like this tip um, and uh, you know subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know check out my other videos, my other day, uh, tips of the day, um, and uh, you know you can catch me at Danny K Jimmo Wellness on uh, Facebook, DannyKJimmoWellness.com, or D K N Y K N I G H T on YouTube. So stay in tune, stay informed, stay motivated. Bye.